Okay, so welcome to another Bitwig uh, tutorial. In this one, we need to talk about the pitch shifter. Now, this is a, a cool device that maybe it's uh, misunderstood. Now, I'm going to go and show you uh, the first sound I get. It's just a snare. It is a very short snare. It sounds like that. And it's not even a snare. I don't know what it is. It's a percussion element. Now, I'm adding a little bit of reverb because if not, it's just a little bit too dry. Okay, so now then you have the pitch shifter. Now, if you think about this, and I'm going to go and double click just to kind of bring everything to default. If you think about this, this uh, pitch shifter, what it should do is going to shift the pitch of whatever incoming signal that you're getting, in this case, audio signal. Um, so if you're using on a MIDI track, of course, you're going to be putting the pitch shifter after. So uh, it's going to change the pitch. Now, the thing is that, of course, it does it on a different way. If you want to change the pitch, of whatever snare you should do it on a different you know you should use something else so for example i'm gonna go and play the snare okay so of course we can change my semitones right here i'm gonna go to here and start going up and right here of course we see what's going on on the um spectrum if i go up nothing happens it's because we have a mix control so you can use a blend of whatever that you're pitch shifting and get a bit of the original snare. And then get, of course, the uh, pitch shifted one. Or you can go 100% and just get the pitch shifted, pitch shifted one. And notice this changing the, you know, the, the place, the, the, the transient on the, the peak on the uh, spectrum. It's just changing. And it makes sense, right? We are just going up by four or five semitones. And then going up and up and up and up and up and up. 12 semitones now you cannot argue that it doesn't sound that good and it's because uh you know there are better ways of pitch shifting now of course a pitch shifting and all the processing takes uh you know all the uh, you know this kind of a kind of a behavior changing the pitch or modifying the uh, the uh the, the length and just you know i'm gonna go right here and just show you uh right here uh whenever you have the expressions or maybe whenever you want to change uh, the events and everything else, it's just gonna take some processing. So, for example, I'm gonna go right here, and the grain is kind of a, the fidelity of the pitch shifting. And again, you cannot argue that still, it doesn't sound that good. It's doing the pitch shift, but it's not so awesome. You can go down, of course. Now, if you really want to change the pitch of this one, you should use the dedicated controls that you have right here. So if you really want to pitch shift something, you should click the clip or whatever it is that you want to pitch shift and you select, you need to select the mode, you know, so you can re-pitch or maybe you want to stretch, but it will just, you know, kind of a, uh, maybe do an Elastic Pro. Uh, it's going to work uh, a little bit better in changing the pitch. Of course, it takes more processing power. But for example, right now, if I go, f uh, uh, I don't know, seven semitones up, yeah, I'm going to disable this one. It works a little bit better. It works much better. Oh, maybe it's too much. Sometimes, you know, when you uh, pitch shift things, it's just going to sound a little bit different. So I'm doing three, right? And that's how it sounds. If I go back to the original pitch and I try to go and maybe do three on this one, something like that, is maybe not gonna sound that good. It's still gonna try to do it. But we get that phasey sound. Okay. So you can use to do pitch shifting, but you should use this, right? Okay. Now the main nature of this one, of the pitch shifter, is that you can create different sounds. For example, I'm gonna go right here, and I'm going to do the, bl the blend of uh, maybe 50% or something like that. So the grain, whenever you go down, it will start creating some artifacts. So if I unshift this, you know, kind of a go to a different semitones, go up. Notice that we get a echo. If we go down, we can use this as a delay, for example. Very dry delay. As you go down on the grain, the effect is a bit more noticeable. Now, if you go 
all the way, you're just gonna hear, you know, this repetitions, this echo. And as you go up on the grain, the fidelity kind of uh, goes up, and we don't get this repetitions and echo, we get a more phasey sound. Now again, if you separate it more, you're gonna get more, or the other way. Right. So the main intention of the, you know, of this pitch shifter, maybe it's not to change the pitch because you can easily do it right here and it's gonna do it much better. But the main uh, kind of a nature of this one is that you can modulate it and get different sounds. That's the whole idea. So I'm gonna disable this one. I'm gonna go to this pitch shifter and I'm gonna enable it. So this one has an LFO going up and down, just, you know, bipolar. Uh, I could do not bipolar if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna leave it on. And then amount of 100% and where we go in 1-4. So this one is going uh, to the grain, up and down, up and down. And I'm going 12 semitones up and I'm doing a little bit of blend. And it's gonna sound like that. It, like, again, it sounds, it sounds cool. It sounds like a sound effects, like an effects. And that's the main point, in my opinion, of the pitch shifter. It's not to pitch the shift, but you know, to do some kind of a random modulation or to create a sound effects based on the pitch. We go 100%, of course we get more volume, but we'll get the whole thing, you know? And again, you could use this, maybe go up on the reverb and use it as a sound effects. You can even modulate this. So pretty simple. We can even bring a different modulator. Uh, let's say, I don't know, a classic LFO. Uh, this, again, another classic LFO. And I'm gonna, this one is gonna go slower, but this one is going to be moving this one something, I don't know, let's go aggressive, why not? <laughs> really great. Again, just, you know, sound effects. It's a experimentation. All right, so of course, whatever is that it's modulating this, if you change the character, it's gonna change the sound. And that's, that's a good sound. So again, in my opinion, the pitch shifter should be used as a modulation or experimentation kind of a device instead of, you know, just pitch shift something. Uh, previously, we were using a snare, right? Which is a very kind of a transient, a uh, uh, based uh, sound, and, it, and again, it's just a pattern. Now, right here, I have, I'm gonna mute this one first. I have a layer with some keys. So I'm gonna go and play it. We have some keys, some very nice keys from a patch I made that you can get it as a Patreon. And yes, I'm doing a little bit of promotion. Is that so bad? All right, so. so okay, so the main purpose of this is that Maybe I just, you know, want to do a little bit of experimentation. So I'm going to bring an FX layer and I'm going to just mute the sound. And I want to see what I get with the pitch shifter. So I'm going to go and bring it by step. So first I'm going to go and bring a reverb and I'm doing the same thing than before. I'm using an LFO like this. I'm changing the shape right here to something like that. And I'm just moving the semitones. So now this is going to be reacting on, you know, sustained chords and sustained notes, not just, you know, uh, uh, percussive elements. And it's gonna sound, it's gonna sound great. I mean, weird, but great. Now notice again, if you go up on the grain, you get a bit more fidelity, but, and it's a cool sound as well, but I want something like this. All right, so at the same time, you can bring another pitch, pitch shift, pitch shifter to shift the sound that is coming out of this one. So I'm gonna go and bring it. 
And notice that the mix is 100%, it's 0%. I'm just doing a normal LFO, going on a random kind of a velocity, and I'm just ultra, uh, just moving this, the, uh, the semitones, but notice that the blend is off. So as soon as I bring it, And remember that we are getting this sound based on this one. <laughs> so, yeah. So the main key with the pitch shifter is just experimentation. Maybe just getting something a bit more normal like this, or just getting, you know, sounds effects like this. It's completely up to you. It's a great device. But you need to make the decision of uh, how you want to use it. All right, so that's it. So hopefully now you know, you understand what the pitch shifter is and why you would want to use it. Uh, remember, of course, to like, subscribe and check Patreon. This is how you keep the lights on and uh, on this channel and uh, see you on the next one.